it's Jacob and Isabel reporting from Stafford County, Virginia. So what's so special about Stafford County? In addition to being George Washington's boyhood home, Stafford is also where the first heavier-than-air powered aircraft flight in human history occurred, way back in 1896. 1896? I thought the Wright brothers made their first flight in 1903. You'd be right. But in the early 1890s, when the primary means of transportation was still the horse-drawn carriage, and most American homes didn't have electricity, this guy, Samuel Pierpoint Langley, launched Air Joe No. 5 into the air from a specially designed houseboat anchored at Chapawamsic Island at the northeast tip of Stafford County. Air Joe No. 5, which was approximately 14 feet long and weighed 26 pounds, flew for a total of 1 minute and 30 seconds, reaching a height of 100 feet and a total distance of 3,000 feet before it ran out of fuel and gently descended, coming to rest into the water. The test was witnessed by Alexander Graham Bell, you know, the telephone guy, who stated, No one could have witnessed these experiments without being convinced that the practicality of mechanical flight had been demonstrated. After the flights, Langley said, I've brought to a close the portion of the work which seemed to be specially mine, the demonstration of the practicability of mechanical flight. And for the next stage, which is the commercial and practical development of the idea, it is probable that the world may look to others. Langley's flight brought credibility to the science of aeronautics and proved that human flight would one day be possible, a feat achieved by Orville and Wilbur Wright seven years later in December 1903. Still, to this day, not many people know about Samuel Pierpoint Langley and his contributions to aviation. So, we built this, the Mini Drome No. 5. Constructed of carbon fiber rods, titanium wire, and silk span, the Mini Drome is a 120th scale replica of Langley's Aerodrome No. 5. For power, we modified and attached a Power Up 4.0 paper airplane flight module. Altogether, the Mini Drome measures 11 inches long and weighs a total of 38 grams. Langley's Aerodrome No. 5 didn't have the means for autonomous flight control, but the Power Up includes a micro flight computer. It lets you control direction and height from your cell phone. Technology Langley would have found useful in 1896. So the real question is, will the Mini Drone No. 5 once again prove Langley's vision of heavier-than-air powered flight? With the help of Langley Flight Foundation founder and Samuel Pierpoint Langley Stannon, Phil Hornung, we set out to go where no Mini Drone has gone before. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. The Mini Drone's two sets of wings may not be the most aerodynamically stable design, but it was able to achieve and sustain heavier than air flight, just like Langley's Aerodrome No. 5 in 1896. Turning the Mini Drone was a little challenging to get used to, and the occasional gust of wind provided for Unplanned Aerial Acrobatics, or UAA. But the Mini Drone's wing design produced significant lift, allowing it to fly at very low speeds. Despite the windy conditions, we were able to achieve a longest flight of 51 seconds, which seemed to be primarily limited by the reduced range of our modified power-ups Wi-Fi connection. And perhaps with a little more practice, we can land the mini drill as gracefully as Aerodrome 5 in 1896. The Mini Drone Number 5 has followed in the footsteps of its namesake, once again taking flight above Stafford County. In 1912, Charles Walcott wrote, To Langley belongs the honor of being the first to demonstrate to the world the practicability of mechanical flight with machines heavier than the air, sustained and propelled by their own power. The mission of the Langley Flight Foundation is to commemorate Samuel Cooper Langley's 1896 flight experiments through the construction of an exact replica of Aerodrome No. 5 for display at the Stafford Regional Airport in Stafford County. 
The replica would give the county an opportunity to showcase Langley's achievement and Stafford County's place in aviation history, to promote tourism, inspire STEM education, and help attract aviation-related business to the county. If you'd like to learn more, visit Langley Flight Foundation's website at langfound.org. Check out our link to the website in the notes below. And until next time, keep flying! Thank you.